Welcome to week six. So what we're going to practice on now is uh, polishing those scales, getting better at strumming. Going to give you a couple of ideas, a couple of extra things to do with your scales once you get them down. But what we're going to test mostly this, this week, we're going to test it, but really uh, see if we don't have to look at the grids. I don't want you to spend any time looking at the page. By now, they should be memorized. So let's practice all five scale shapes. And I'd like to get like about a 120 on your, on, your, uh, on your metronome, maybe 130. So let's try that. Let's see if we can get up to that speed. So here we go. Quarter notes. One, two, three, and here's your first scale shape, E shape. One, two, three. Okay, do your best not to look at your hand. Don't be looking at the book. Don't look at the book. Up a half step, one fret. I'm gonna look off into space. But I'm not gonna quit thinking about what I'm doing. I'm thinking about singing these notes internally. Up another half step to the key of A. This is A with an E form. I'm gonna show you why it's an E form. Again, I'm gonna remind you that if we bar at the root point and play an E shaped chord, it's an A chord with an E shape. Two, three, four, play the scale again. Kind of your spelling bee exercise. We'll get to that. When you start, start bar chording, you'll start doing that towards the end of this 10 week stretch. Up another half step. You should be able to keep up with this. Okay, for all you hot shots, we're gonna double this up to eighth notes at, I guess we're at 130 or 120. Double it up. One and two and three and four. Again, nice and smooth. Make every note who you are. Move down a half step. Oops, played them all this time. I can still mess them up. Again, watch that technique. Both hands. Stay addressed with the left hand. Try to keep your knuckles parallel with the neck. And there you have it. Down another half step. Okay, we're gonna go right to the A shape. One, two, three, play. Slide in the middle, crunch, and back down. Again, I'm gonna slow down to quarter notes. For those of you who are testing yourselves at, at home, please do. Find out if you can play these at 120 to 130 beats a minute, quarter notes. That's a minimum for your milestones. Up a half step, you want to make your milestones for 10 weeks. You want to make that 10 week milestone, be able to do all this stuff without flaw, nice and smooth. Next, and move up a half step. Again, we're just testing to see if we can stay in time, make every note sound real pretty. Nice and solid. Up a half step to D sharp or E flat. Either one is right. Okay, for the hot shots out there, we're gonna go ahead and double this up at the bottom here. Here we go. Double it up, eighth notes. Down a half step. Half step. Remember, you're asking yourself, why am I doing this? So you can gain facility and have access to the neck. Down a half step. I mean, it doesn't take you all day to get this done. You want to be sure you warm up every day and act like it's just an aerobics exercise. Next scale shape is going to be D shape. We're going to go to the D string. It was the fifth shape you learned, but we're going to jump here. Move over to the fourth string, right where you, right on the third fret. That's going to be the key of F. Here we go, one, two, one, two, three, play. Slide there, 
four fingers, four frets. There you go, again. Up a half step. Watch that right hand, make sure you're using all your fingers. Okay, for your hot shots, we're gonna double this up, go up one more half step to G. Again. Okay, we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna go to the C shape, back to quarter notes. Pinky on the fifth fret. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Move up a half step from the key of D to the key of D sharp or E flat. Remember it's the root point that gives you your key name. Let you know what key you're in. Up a half step. Some of you will get through these five weeks in less than six or seven days. Up another half step, because you practice all the time. People that practice just an hour a day, you should have this by the end of five weeks, to six weeks. Back down a half step. Just follow me. We're in the key of E, or the seventh fret. We're gonna stay right here, double it up. Again. Down a half step. Down another half step. There you go. And stop there. We're going to move the pinky over one string lower. Go to the next lower string. That'll be your G shape. Last one we practice and test today. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Don't forget to, well, we're going to take this as quarter notes. One, two, ready, play. Remember to stretch right here. Don't move your hand. Practice not moving your hand to get to that note that you're stretching for. It's a very good exercise. Up a half step. Up a half step. my hand a little too much. Watch my hand. Watch my left hand. Stretch. There you go. Up a half step. We're in the key of C now. And stop right here. One, two, we're going to double it up. One, two, ready, play. Very good practice for the right hand to stay in position. Down a half step. And we'll stop right there. That should be a good test for everybody that's at this level. At the sixth week, you should have memorized the scales, be able to flow around them approximately at 120 to 130 beats a minute, quarter notes, and maybe for those of you who really put in the time, you'll be able to play eighth notes at that speed. Remember to get access to be at an intermediate level. You wanna be able to play your scale studies, both discrete individual scale studies like we've been studying, and eventually in the, in the in next term, we'll be talking about connected scale studies, connecting your scales and connecting your chords and getting your bar chording thing together. So, until we see you on the seventh week, those are the things to practice. Get better at your scale studies. We're gonna take another look at your chord primers for your chord primer exercises. We're gonna see if we can finger pick page number three. So here we go. And we need a metronome for this, and uh, we'll practice with the uh, syncopated Atkins version, so you'll hear what that sounds like. Almost sounds like that other song we gave you.
Now I'm going to strum it with the eighth note. Get the idea. Let's continue with the next exercise just as a test. See if you can keep up with the strumming. You can always use it as a finger picking exercise as well. We'll try it as a strumming exercise. Eighth notes all the way through. You'll notice in this last exercise is 20 measures long and there's actually three songs in here. The first one is actually kind of a Tom Petty tune and the second one is actually uh, Imagine by John Lennon and the very last one is uh, I Got My Mind Set on You by George Harrison. So there's some songs in here that are all connected together just by their chord, uh, their, their chord progressions. So here we go. Two, three, four, two, two, three, play. Repeat it. Here's a Tom Petty song. Now we're transitioning with John Lennon's song. George Harrison song. To do it, 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 to do it right. So now you get the point about the chord primers and how the there's there's actual song forms in there. There's a most of the songs you're gonna, you're gonna listen to out there in the world. They don't have a lot of chords. Five or six chords maximum in any song. It's just the sequence that the chords are in that you have to remember to learn a song. So you're almost there. And this is the seventh, uh, coming up on the seventh week. This is sixth week, kind of a testing time for you, kind of to check in, see if you're making the milestones. So continue to practice, start developing some rhythms, and take a look at week number seven. I suggest some very special things about week number seven, and we'll talk, to, talk uh, about that in just a little bit. Thanks for being part of this, and I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Keep practicing.